Hey guys, welcome back. How are you? I hope you are good and doing well. So in the last lecture, we implemented the one to one association between the job seeker, I mean user and the notification setting model. OK, now in this lecture, we will actually allow users to manage his setting using some form. OK, for example, here you can see that in this uh, uh, migration or for it, this notification setting, what attributes we have selected that all are the Boolean attributes. OK, now we will allow users to manage these attributes or manage these options using some form. So we will implement the one to one association form. OK, and we will also see that how we can initialize one to one association objects in Rails. OK, using the build method. So first, what we need to do that we need to create a notification settings controller okay so come to the controllers and here let's create a new file okay and name this file as notification settings controller.rb okay now what we need to do we need to implement something here so class sorry notification settings controller application controller and here now what we need to do that we need to manage before action authentication authenticate user okay because this controller should not be accessed without signing into the system okay now we need to implement a method here for example let's say def manage notification settings or notification options okay but let's make it manage notification settings okay now we need to instantiate some object here okay so first we how we need to see that how we can instantiate a object in rails for one to one association okay so here we can clearly see that in notification setting it belongs to job seeker where the class name is user okay so a notification setting ultimately belongs to the user model object okay and the user has one notification setting okay so what we need to do here let's say at that setting equal to current user dot build notification setting okay this is how you can instantiate empty and new object for a one-to-one -one association record okay but we will use the same form to manage settings i mean to update the settings okay so first we need to check that uh, if there is any notification setting present for the current user if present then we will use the existing record otherwise we will use the new record okay or we will allow users to create the notification setting first okay then only he can see uh, make updates there okay so what we need to do here we need to make some conditional thing so let's say if current user dot notification setting dot present okay if it is present then we will sorry then we will use the existing record else we will instantiate a new object for the current user okay i mean the new object of new notification setting for the current user okay and if it is present then setting equal to current user dot notification setting okay so what uh, we are doing here here you can see that in manage notification settings what we are doing we are first checking that whether current user has any notification setting present in the database if it is has then we will use the existing notification setting to display in the form and that time user will update it otherwise we will make it setting equal to current user dot build notification setting okay now what we need to do first we need to create a notification settings uh, directly into the views okay so let's uh, come here into the views let's create a new folder notification settings okay so the directory has been created and now we need to create a template okay and we will name this template as manage notification settings dot rb okay so let's save this sorry dot 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 rb dot html dot erb okay now we need to see this form into the url so first we need to uh, 
into the browser. So first we need to create a URL for this. Okay, so open the routes. Okay, and here what we need to do. Right, let's say get settings and it should point to the action of notification settings dot manage notification settings action okay so what this custom route means that this is the type of the request okay this is the url that you will see into the browser okay and this is the controller name and this is your action name okay for which you want to point the url okay so now let's save this and we can see this url uh, we can see grab the url from the let's say con terminal so what we need to do rails routes grab settings okay when you do this you will see that it is showing you the path settings path okay so we need to display the settings path for the user so what we need to do first we open the need to open the header file and then we will display this okay and now let's make some changes here okay and then do the same thing for settings copy this li element and here we'll do settings okay and then settings path now let's go to the browser and when you go to the browser and refresh the page you will see a settings link here okay and when you click on the settings link it will show you a empty page right now okay now what we need to do that we need to implement the form for it okay so for example let's copy this applied job form from here okay and into the manage notification settings what we need to do let's paste it and here first we need to make it model at the rate settings okay and then remove everything just keep the checkbox field here okay so this is the checkbox field we need and now here what we can do update settings okay and remove this one however if you wish you can simply copy the you can simply create a new form as well but uh, i'm just creating it for the uh, i'm just copying and pasting it to save the time okay now let's copy this field name so on new job post okay so what should be the title of our field that is let's say when a new job posted when a new job posted then we want then we will display a checkbox to the user and then here let's copy another one when removal of favorite job so paste it here okay or when a job from my favorite list get removed okay now this question and now let's uh, copy this for next few four fields okay and now let's copy the name on removal of existing job okay, here when a job removed Okay, and then other one is on status changed on applied job. When status changed for my applied job. Okay, and then paste the field here. Okay, and then on job status change. when status of a job changed okay save this and now we need to see this form onto the browser okay uh, first remove this s3 as well 
okay and now what we need to do we need to go to the browser but now if we refresh the page we will see some error okay for example oh it is not showing any and not displaying any error okay by the way fine so when a new job posted okay so when user select this we will uh, whenever a new job posted later in the future we will send a uh, an email to the user okay or when a job from my favorite list get removed if user opted this then uh, if any of the favorite job by the user get removed from the database he will be notified through the email when a job and same for the when a, when a job removed when status changed for my applied job and when status of a job changed okay now let's make some title here let's see what we can do here manage your settings okay manage your notification settings now we need to take some action on it okay for example let's make some space into the terminal and sorry go to the browsers and if you select these fields okay and you submit the form you can see that it is processing the request by manage notification settings as HTML okay but what we need to do that we need to uh, handle this create an update using create an update action okay because uh, right now this action is not uh, able to uh, save the data okay because this action is not able to save the data so we need to create update and create action and then we need to manage the path accordingly into the form here okay like uh, if it is already present then we will display the let's say path for updating the notification setting if it is not present then we will provide the path for creating the new notification setting for the user okay but that part we will do in the next lecture okay so what we did in this lecture let's recap so here first we created the notification settings controller and then we created a custom route okay that is manage notification settings and we defined the route here and here you can see that we defined a custom route get settings notification settings and manage notification settings so here it is the name that we will see in the url this is the controller name and this is the action name within that controller that will refer to this url okay and then we created our form and we applied all the attributes of this notification setting model okay now whenever user will choose these attributes he will uh, receive the notification via email okay based upon the selected options whatever he has choosed okay so we need to work on that in the next part where we will allow user to either update or create the notification setting okay so let's uh, follow this and uh, create the notification setting form at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe